Yeah, the session ended shortly before four, whenever House members back behind these doors voted to adjourn. The uh, hardest thing for them to accomplish this session was probably getting those congressional redistricting maps approved. The most controversial bill, probably the one that requires voters show a photo ID the next time they go to vote. The record setting budget, that one, that bill probably had the most bipartisan support. One of the big highlights have been the budget, and I think a lot of my Democratic colleagues are very excited about what we were able to do on the, in the budget on the House and Senate side. The House and Senate passed the largest budget in state history, a $49 billion budget thanks to increased state revenue and federal COVID relief funds. Senate used a procedure, the Senate that is, used a procedure that it hasn't used since 1979 to get around opposition from a group of conservative Republican senators to finally pass a congressional redistricting map. They did that on Thursday and then the Senate adjourned. The House passed that map on Monday. Yesterday, the House passed a bill that would require voters show a government-issued photo ID. Democrats are saying that that will disenfranchise voters. I think that's probably the worst bill that, that has passed this year. Um, it really does feel like an attack on voting rights and democracy. They're going to say that no matter what we do. Um, I, I think most people believe the, the polling shows that a high percentage of, of Missourians have voted for voter ID in the past. Technically, I believe it makes it a crime to give your grandmother an application to apply for an absentee ballot. I, I think that's absolutely unconstitutional, a violation of First Amendment rights, and terrible policy. I, I don't believe so. I mean, we're all for having lawful people that are here vote. Um, we had, I believe it's a two-week um, no-excuse absentee provision. So I, I think there's gives in that as well. As he mentioned, Republicans accepted a compromise, an amendment uh, proposed by Democrats to allow for a two-week period, the two weeks right before an election, for no excuse absentee voting. Now, uh, the representative you heard there at the end who was talking about that, that's uh, Representative Plocker from St. Louis County. He will be the next Speaker of the House. Live at the Missouri Capitol, Russell Kinsall News 4.